All right, let's see if I know how to do this still. Hey guys, Jason Lino here. It has been a long time, I know, like a month. Um, I haven't really given any kind of updates or anything like that because for the most part, there really hasn't been much to talk about. Now, uh, the only thing I can really talk about today is my injury. Uh, what's? I don't want to say it's an injury. We'll say a speed bump. Like I don't need surgery or anything like that. Nothing crazy happened. I'm just not that functional, we'll say. So just to kind of give you a little bit of what's been going on. Uh, if you didn't watch my last video, you probably should because there's a little bit more details to it, but I'll try to remember what I said back then to what I'm going to say now. I haven't really been able to do a lot of powerlifting or what I consider powerlifting, and that's because... I was having a sciatic irritation again, and I tried my best to kind of work through it, do my own therapy, you know, the stretching, uh, palpitating with like a crossball, foam roller, current machines, the works. Wasn't really working out. And in fact, it actually got to a point where my squat and deadlift started to aggressively decrease, like by hundreds of pounds. Uh, at this point right now, I... I can maybe deadlift 200 pounds, give or take, uh, without being like kind of healed over in pain, uh, which is not good considering I was close to five, which is, you know, a bit of an ego trip, but you'll get there or I'll get there. Not you guys, you're fine either way. But like I said, I was really decreasing and it got to a point where I didn't know what to do. I reached out to uh, a fellow friend of mine or a fellow gym goer. He is a friend of mine. Man, it's been a while. Let me give me, give me some credit. It's been a while. Uh, but I reached out to him. He's a former physiotherapist and he kind of went over my situation and said, yeah, it's your QL again, which at first kind of annoyed me. I'm not going to lie. I've been working pretty hard uh, trying to keep that area mobile and functioning properly to try to not give me any kind of like pelvic shift and causing an irritation again. But he's like, no, man, I'm it's like I'm 90 percent. It's your QL. Uh, so, you know. I took what he said to heart and I have been doing some mobility, but you know, with me constantly having the same issue and constantly going to physiotherapists, I thought maybe I would take a different approach this time. So I have been looking more and more into chiropractic and I figured, heck, why not give it a shot? So I went to uh, one of my local chiropractors and I told her my situation, what I do, uh, my history and what my my buddy said and she's like no I'm pretty sure it's your QL and I'm like gosh darn it why <laughs> uh, but so she you know after that she went through a full like assessment she was moving limbs uh, feeling my spine the work so she went to move my left and then my right uh, pelvis area and she went to my left or hip pelvis whatever either way you get it she was on my left side I uh, was moving my leg hip the works, it was great. She loved it. She was actually like impressed with how mobile I was. She went to the right side, went to compress my uh, my right my pelvic area and nothing, no movement. It was garbage. And she was like, wow, it just essentially stopped. She's like, oh, that's that's weird. And she's like, I, I'm pretty sure you're compensating for something. But, you know, so I'll give you a full adjustment and then we'll go from there, you know, see me next week. So she gave me a full adjustment, which if you've never done chiropractic before, I'm telling you right now, if you do it, don't freak out. The first adjustment is going to be so loud. Uh, but it, after that, it was essentially euphoric because probably like within 15 hours or so, I had movement that I didn't realize I had on my right side. And it was actually phenomenal. I loved it. Uh, a couple of days went by and I was getting a little sore again, which she didn't mention would probably happen. But the thing that was weird was my right foot on the outside hurt and I didn't know why and it actually tripped me out I'm like this is kind of weird like did she do something wrong whatever uh, so I was going to mention it to her but before then I ran into my buddy again he asked me how everything went I told him and then I mentioned about my right foot and then he kind of chuckled and said let me guess you have left knee pain I'm like yeah and he goes huh, it's funny so you got a right bad foot left bad knee right bad QL I looked at him, he goes, what did you do to your foot? And I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, well, you got a right bad foot, so your left side's going to compensate, hence the pressure on your knee, and then you're going to compensate on your right side again. And I'm like, huh, that's weird. And he goes, no, really, what's, what did you do with your foot? Because 
you know, usually these problems will start at the foundation. And I'm like, okay, well, I started thinking, and then I kind of realized that when I was in high school, I was diagnosed with a bad arch in my foot. So I'm good when it comes to the heel, the toe, but when it comes to how my foot sits, it sits slightly on the outside, hence where the pain was. And I'm like, oh, I mentioned that. And he kind of said, well, then that's probably what it is. And then when I went to my chiropractor, she said the exact same thing. So basically, from my perspective, uh, since I was in high school, I had been compensating for my bad right foot. So all this time when I'm trying to be, you know, Mr. Fitness and next big power lifter, I've essentially been training under a handicap, which kind of blows me away because it makes me realize that I could do more if I focused a lot more on, you know, the little things. At the same time, it makes me extremely frustrated because, man, has this been a struggle. But that's basically essentially it. So this whole time, my back problem or sciatic problem has been from just the years of my body compensating. So all of this underdevelopment on one side, overdevelopment on another. So that's super great. Slowly working on that, but you know, with years of trauma, I guess in a sense, if you want to call it that, whatever, uh, it takes time. So I'm working pretty aggressively on trying to get everything back. Uh, I am focusing still on trying to hit the big three it's not where I want to be. Bench is all right. Like it hasn't dropped. It hasn't done anything too dramatic negatively. So I feel awesome about that. Squats, I did manage to hit 300 again. Uh, but I find that, you know, if I want to put any volume in, it can't have being close to that intensity. And deadlifts at this point, honestly, has just been by feel. Uh, my objective currently is it's kind of uh, like an Olympic Russian squat program for my squats, nothing too crazy. So it's just, you know, for the first three weeks, we work through sets of two and then we kind of slowly try to peak my way up. Uh, but it's not based off of my hundred percent or my one rep max. Uh, I gauged it down to 80% going from there. Uh, I've been doing the same thing essentially with my bench, but from my actual max and then deadlift, I'm gonna give it about 50% of my max just because the motions don't hurt. It's just when I have to put some strain on my, my glute or my hip hinge, whatever you wanna to refer to it as, that's when the pain truly comes in, hence deadlifting. So kind of going by feel, but I just wanted to basically tell you what's up because I've been seeing some of you guys, my personal friends, and I've had some people message me as well and being like, hey man, I don't see your videos anymore. What's going on? How are you doing? And so I figured in attempts to, you know, try to communicate and let you guys know what's up, I make a video today. And then if things start working out, maybe I'll be a little bit more consistent. Who knows? But guys, that's the video. So do me a favor, go down below, drop me some comments, say, hey, how's it going? Hey, let me know what you guys want to see. Maybe it'll give me a bit more motivation to keep going. Who knows? Uh, and then as well, Hit that like, share, subscribe to spread that love because heck, maybe if you guys interact a bit more with me, I will feel obligated to interact with you. And then that's about it. So I will see you next time.